Hi, this is Mike again with DraftBuddy.com, and I got a question from one of our members about their copy of DraftBuddy saying the values aren't working uh, properly, what's going on, and uh, that was about it from uh, William. So let me, William, let's, uh, let's answer your question here, and I think this might be helpful to other people as well. There are, okay, well here's, here's William's DraftBuddy that he sent me. The, uh, it is 2019, I can see right from the title here, and from the settings, he's got it's an NL only Roto League. And, you know, looking at the, the rules tab, which is usually the first thing I look at, everything looks fine. Well, I guess the first thing I look at typically is the values, and this is where we're going to see there are some issues here. So we go to the hitters page, and I see Robinson Cano, number one at second base. That's not right. Josh Donaldson, number one at third base. That's not right. Uh, the numbers also drop off pretty dramatically here, too. We only got about a dozen guys with values greater than a dollar. Uh, at each position, and if I look at the pitchers, I see here that Kershaw is number one overall at forty-eight dollars, which is clearly not right and correct at uh, early March two thousand nineteen. So, what is the issue? Well, if the rules tab was fine, then my next guess is there's something going on with the options tab. So I go to the options tab, and I see here that the uh, Williams using last player picked to value the players. So let me explain here. There are two options to get dollar values for your players, or I guess really value players in Draft Buddy, um, whether you have a points league or a roto league, but this would be more common in roto. The uh, Draft Buddy has its own methodology, but also we have last player picked on the website. So let me find that. LPP, I've shortened it over here. Last player picked. That's this right here. It's our auction value calculator. Um, you know, hopefully you've uh, used it in the past. Um, really good tool. It doesn't I mean it's got a classic look to it. Let's put it that way. But uh, you know, I could you know you can put in settings here. I have all the same projections that are in Draft Buddy, um, and we can run through the values pretty quickly here, and it'll give you hitter and pitcher values. There are the hitters. There are the pitchers. Uh, right there as an example, and I didn't change any of the settings here, but that's last player picked. So, back to DraftBuddy. Like I said, so DraftBuddy has its own internal methodology that you can use, but also you can import results from last player picked. So that all you need to do for that is change the option up here, and you can select DraftBuddy, or you can select last player picked. Okay, so William used last player picked. What it does then is you need to put the values from last player picked into Draft Buddy, so then it'll copy them over to the players. So, um, if I was going to change this and use Draft Buddy, uh, Draft Buddy's own methodology, all I would do is change this to Draft Buddy, and then I go to the Action tab and hit Compile Cheat Sheets. It would run through uh, the the process to value players, set up all the tabs, and we would have some 2019 values. If I want to use last player picked, well here's what's going on here. Uh, last player picked was used. Um, compiled cheat sheets also needs to be used as well, but I don't think William imported the results from last player picked. So if I go back here, this is the very last tab. See the last tab here says last player picked. And this is export from LPP and it shows uh, you know what's happened here is I didn't update this for the current year because, well, part of the process of using last player picked is you need to import your own results. So I guess I didn't think about it, and we can see that uh, Miguel Cabrera is number two at uh, 41. This might even be two years old. And uh, if I search for Kershaw, he's down here at with uh, you know 50. So. I guess that's what's with some rounding has has rolled off into the, um, the values that are not current. So what we all we need to do here is we're going to use last player picked. So I need to go back to my um, back to last player picked, and I'll use these values. No, actually, let's not do that. Let's go back to LPP, and we will switch this to NL only. Okay, it was a twelve team league. Let's see here. 
I maybe won't change the positions. Well, the players, uh, the pitchers are nine, 12 teams. I don't need to change a lot. So, and I think it was all the same standard roto categories. So let me just change the pitchers. Zero, zero, nine. Okay, and I believe all the hitters are the same. Get values. Okay, so last player picked runs the values for the N only settings. And we see Trey Turner's number one amongst hitters. Uh, Christian Yelich, two, and Max Scherzer, number one pitcher. So that makes sense. Now, once I'm on LPP over here, go to League Info, and you'll see two links here. Uh, export to CSV and transfer LPP values to Draft Buddy. So this is a post I wrote back in 2015, which goes through this process, how to transfer values from last player pick to Draft Buddy. So there's more explanation should you need it, but what I want to do is export to CSV. It's going to load up a blank page, but it's going to download CSV file for me, which I'm going to open right here. And it opened an Excel for me, which is great. And all I need to do is highlight the entire thing, copy it, and then put it in Williams Copy of Draft Buddy on that last tab, last tab over here, cut it right over top of the old stuff. Let's get to the upper left cell. And then we copy it in so you see everything changed. Let me scroll down, make sure there's nothing extra. There is extra, of course, because I think I had a mixed league in here before. This is an NL only league. So this, let's get rid of it. Okay, and I'm going to go clear all for that. That leaves just our NL values. Now I need to get these values onto the cheat sheets. I go to the options tab. I have last player pick selected. I go to the action tab and I'm going to compile cheat sheets. Oh, and a quick reminder. William has some keepers in here and perhaps even, well, no, not custom draft order. He has keepers in here. So we want these Reset option set to no, which he already has a no, which is great. So we don't lose the keepers. Compile cheat sheets. This will take a minute. And it especially takes a little longer on my machine because I'm recording a video at the same time. But it should go through this process and then pull those values that were in last player picked, put them on the cheat sheets, and create the overall cheat sheet, sorting all the players by their value. So I can't remember if Max Scherzer or Trey Turner was number one. Turner was 39, Yelich was 36, Scherzer was 39. Okay, so one of them is going to be number one, depends on how many decimal places we've got. And there we go, Compile Cheat Sheets is done. Scherzer is number one. Trey Turner was closer to $38, so there, there he is. And uh, yeah, so now we have values for Williams NL only league in Draft Buddy, courtesy of last player picked. Uh, and that uh, that is how that is done. All right, uh, thanks a lot, and hope you enjoyed the video. And we will uh, talk again next time.